I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about fall fragrances. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Also make sure you are following me on Instagram if you are not already. My handle is from Abby with Love. I will leave that on the screen and also my QR code that you can scan with your phone and give me a follow thank you so much so i have five perfumes that i feel are just perfect for the fall season i have a cozy one i've got affordable i have niche and i also have designer but before i start the video i had a few comments in my last video if you've not watched that video make sure you watch it um i had a few people say that the 900 ml burberry perfume was probably not real how do I spray it? How do I use it? So I'm going to insert a video now that you can watch because that perfume is humongous. It's 900 ml. So I'm just going to show you guys how I've used it. Again, I have a small 30 ml that I use, but on occasion I may just open that big 900 ml bottle to just kind of sniff it because I love the scent of that perfume. So here goes the video. For those of you asking, how do I use this perfume, my 900 ml Burberry Black? I will show you how I use it when I use it. So I always keep it like this because this is a pricey item and it's a gift from my husband. So I hold it very close to my heart. Right, so this is it. So this shows that um, 200 were made and I have the 105th one, which is just incredible. Now I'm gonna open it up and you guys will see how I use it. I've not used it like that, but here we go. Finally got it out of the bottle, the box, <laughs> not the bottle. Now I'm gonna open it up. This is really heavy. And then I'm gonna open the caps. Can you hold this one please? So it's open and it comes with this, let me put it here. It comes with this wand, oops. So the wand will go in here, yeah, and I can put it on myself. So it goes in like so, I can rub it into my skin and rub, no, just joking guys, <laughs> never rub your perfumes, but I can slip, oh, it smells so good. And I can put a syringe inside this and just um, pull it out. Why did I make that noise? But yeah, so for those of you saying this is fake, it's not fake, okay? It's real perfume in there and it smells really strong and gorgeous. So let's start with today's list. I'm going to start with this perfume that I am so obsessed with this. It is affordable. This will set you back no more than $10 and it is Choco Musk. I love this juice, but the longevity on this is so, so trash. It's so trash. Literally an hour, two hours max. This is gone, gone, gone. Um, but this smells like a vanilla and chocolate scent to me. It has some muskiness, but I get a ton of sweetness. I love this. But to make it last longer, I got myself the body oil. This is the key to longevity when it comes to choco mask so pair this with this you are going to smell so delightful all day long i love them together they smell exactly the same there's no difference in the scent but to enable this to have some longevity use the oil all over your body this is like three pounds and this is well i think i got this perfume for five dollars so pair them together you are gonna smell so chocolatey so sweet it gives a gourmand element it doesn't smell cheap and tacky it doesn't smell like you know like sometimes with middle eastern perfume you need to wait for it to sit because it has a lot of alcohol it's not like that in the case of choco moss i highly highly recommend it next we have guidance 46 i could not help but buy this perfume this is pricey this may be the most priciest perfume i've bought in the last couple of years and i don't regret it i will buy this again and again and again but i won't be buying it for a long time because i am going to use this sparingly now this perfume is so hard to describe but i get 
sweetness i get tartness i get some nuttiness i get florals i get so much in this perfume this puts me in the same it puts me in the same mind as nefs by nishane because that's one of the very few perfumes that you smell it you know you love it but you can't quite pinpoint what it smells like that's what this perfume gives me it's literally in the league of its own and i'm still going to do a comparison between the original and the 46 i love them both equally i will say that right now but this is easier on the nose i would say especially like in the first spray i remember the first time i smelled guidance i thought that it had like a like a <laughs> like a urine scent <laughs> it gave me like a spicy urine don't ask me how i know what spicy urine smells like listen i used to be a, a student nurse back 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 in the day but i gave that up but anyway that's the story for another day but it just gave like a urine vibe in the opening not this one the original but there's something really creamy about this one like it eases you in it has so much character it's unbelievable this is a standout scent like if you are looking to impress if you're trying to show up and show out definitely get yourself this perfume maybe not get yourself maybe see if you can get a sample first or go smell it before buying please and please and please do not blind buy this it's way too pricey to blind buy and aside from it being so pricey this perfume is not mass appealing this is not for everybody but those who love it really really love it this next perfume literally knocked me off my feet this is tahara vanilla i saw this on tiktok and i thought mm, i'd oh, oh guys this perfume is beautiful but I remember smelling this back in 20, probably 2018 or 2019 when myself and my family went to Dubai. We got this perfume oil that's called Musk something. I cannot remember the name. I'll leave it there. I remember buying like five bottles of perfume oil that smells exactly like this perfume. And this perfume is so, so, so beautiful. I'm not even hyping it. I'm just telling you exactly how this perfume makes me feel. It has a um, creamy consistency um, or creamy color. So this perfume is very, very musky, but it's a clean musky vanilla. This is so smooth. I'm not sure if this like an alcohol free perfume because it doesn't have the sharpness that I always complain about when it comes to Middle Eastern perfume. This is so delectable, smooth. It smells expensive. It's perfect for layering any perfume if you like vanilla if you like some florals but very subtle florals and you like a musky scent like your skin but better this is it this is it the tiktok girlies were not lying i fell into it and i'm going to definitely be buying so much more of this perfume because i know i'm going to run through it there's a whole collection i think there's like a raspberry there's like loads of different perfumes from this particular collection which is the musk collection i have smelled some of them because it was sent um as samples together with this perfume but this is my favorite. This is my favorite. I'm going to stop going on and on. Is it blind by safe? Yes, guys, this is a blind by safe. This perfume excites me. It's so rare that I find an affordable perfume that smells this good that I became obsessed with so quickly. I absolutely love this. Please check this perfume out if you have not already. So that is Tahara Vanilla. I spoke about that one for a bit, didn't I? The next perfume is Prada Paradox Intense. This is better than the original in my opinion. I feel like the original Paradox is more for daytime and this is more for nighttime. This has two types of vanilla. It has the regular vanilla and it has bourbon vanilla. You also get some Neroli, you get some musk. You get a sweet and sensual white florals with a ton, a blast of vanilla that I'm so in love with. This perfume is gorgeous. This is long lasting. This projects so, so much. I will say because it has jasmine, 
jasmine is one of those notes that i love but i need it in tiny tiny doses so i don't overspray this one doesn't need overspraying anyway a little goes a long way this is going to project fire and why this is going to get you compliments if i had to pick between this one and the original it will always be this one i like the intensity of the vanilla i like that it's giving more than average like this is not mind-blowing to me anyway again i have a ton of perfume so it's not going to be mind-blowing to me because i smell so many perfumes and this is still top tier in its own right it's one of the best designer perfumes in my collection and i really really love it so that is prada paradox intense and the last perfume on this list is Anima. I don't know if anybody I've spoken about this perfume, but I am going to tell you about this perfume today. This was launched back in 2022. This was added to my collection about three weeks ago, and I have been wearing this a ton. Now, this has a very strong note of cherry. It's a tart cherry, and it's rounded with some oud, some woods, and some sweetness, and it's also quite powdery. This is an elegant perfume. This is great for this time of the year. I would also wear this in the spring. It's so different, but you have to like a note of cherry. This isn't like the cherry in, say, Lost Cherry. This is not like a regular cherry. This is quite different. It's very elevated. It's a unique perfume that smells unreal now i mentioned oud earlier but the oud here is not strong it's not offensive it's very modern it's very western it's not abrasive it's just right if you can get your nose on this please do i got mine from debenhams if you live here in the uk this is on sale on debenhams as we speak i will leave the link below if you want to check it out is it blind buy safe I would say no unless you love a note of cherry and oud because that's the main, that's the two main components in this perfume. I love this. I feel like it's one of those perfumes I will always repurchase forever. This is so stunning. Check out this brand if you have not already. I'm not affiliated with them. Yes, they've sent me PR in the past, but this one I bought with my own coins and I love it. So that is Anima. So last but not least is some body sprays by Fleur. I got this from Space NKM in London and I got it solely because of Caramel Skin. Caramel Skin, which is this one right here, is so delicious. It's like burnt sugar and toffee. This is amazing. Now, the regular size for the Fleur Body Mist is this size, so you guys can kind of see the difference. Um, this one is, this is 90 ml. And this smaller one is, is 30 ml. So it's quite small. The three retails for 26 pounds. So they have the caramel, the vanilla, and the coconut. My least favorite is the coconut. It's lovely, but you have to like coconut and I don't, but I will still wear it because it smells lovely. Followed by the vanilla, which I already have and I've spoken about in the previous video. But the latest one is the caramel skin. I cannot wait for this to be available in full size. This is so, so beautiful. It smells incredible. It smells like burnt sugar. Um, the other day I paired it with my Fenty Caramel Butter Drop. Guys, you have to try that combo. If you don't have that caramel body cream, buy it get this layer it you will smell like a gourmand goddess i absolutely love these body sprays they are not made to be like super long lasting they are not groundbreaking although i feel like this caramel one is groundbreaking for me i love anything caramel and this gives me my caramel fix um it's only 26 pounds you can't really go wrong with it i'm pretty sure you can layer everything together like if you wanted to and i love that they put the notes at the back of this so with the caramel one, they have bergamot, they have caramel, they have warm milk, they have um, caramel cream and brown sugar with musk. So this is great. Honestly, get your nose on this one. If you have not already, you will not regret it. And it's good, good value for money. So let me know your absolute favorite for my list and comment down below your number one for fragrance i want to know what is your go-to for fragrance for this time of the year i look forward to reading all of your comments thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye